Erin, the Wahine Project holds surf lessons for girls here in Monterey every Saturday and camps throughout the year. Well, now they're taking their efforts internationally from here to Havana. I mean, in Cuba, they're, they're, it's not, surfing isn't recognized as a sport, and women surfing is just unheard of. So I wanted to hopefully make an impact, a change. Elsa Rivera is part of the Wahine Project. She and five other members just returned from a two-week trip to Cuba, working to empower women and young girls through surfing. The Wahine Project is a local organization created by this woman, Diani Barra. She learned to surf at the age of 37. I just felt like it changed me. And I wanted to bring that to other women and to young girls. And when they come to the ocean, they really have to face their fears. The group started in Monterey back in 2010 and has spread from San Francisco all the way to San Diego, helping roughly 700 girls a year. Now they've reached beyond California, offering help to communities where surfing isn't common, especially for women. We started that in Mexico and then I just went on a search, an international search to find other partners around the world. Like Cuba. Surf culture is growing in Cuba. There are about 60 men, we were told, that surf in the entire island. And only about two or three women. Elsa's group took 15 boards with them on the trip. These are um, girls that were surfing on broken pieces of wood and broken boards. We got to replace those and really support their everyday desire to be in the ocean. Which is what the Wahine Project is all about. It doesn't matter what size you are, what age you are, what color you are, that when they see these girls as an example, um, really up and down the coast, that it'll inspire other young girls and women of every age to say, if she can do it, I can do it. Now, the group is hoping to go back to Cuba in October, but they do have a contact that's there that is willing to do these camps throughout the year. Reporting live in Monterey, I'm Lauren Siever, KSBW Action News 8.